What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics. I dropped a video a couple days ago in which I found some comics that I had collected from probably seven or eight years ago. And it was interesting to see how wrong, even just seven or eight years ago, I taped my comics. So it made me want to do a video to show you guys how to properly do it right, because 98% of the time, I still see it being done wrong. This is how you prevent the dreaded tape pulls. So today we're going to go over how to properly tape a comic book, how to deal with Mylar comics, as well as how to properly tape CGC or CBCS slabs when you ship them out. Now 98% of everybody uses scotch tape and they tend to do this. They get about an inch tape and they just fold it down right there, put it right over horizontally and then they call it a day. Well, this presents a couple problems. First of all, when you finally go to take this off, it has a good chance that it's gonna split right down the middle. Also, when you have it in a box with many other comics, when you go to take it out, you'll start to see the famous wings and dog ears that you sometimes get. So look how hard it is to remove. A better option, but still not best, is to do this. Still has the same problems as the dog ears, but this time it's a little bit easier to remove the tape before you take your comic out. Here's something that works even better, but still not the best. What if to avoid doing those dog ears, you hold it down, flatten out your sides, and pop a piece of tape right there. For most of you, this is gonna be the best you can do if you don't have access to blue painter's tape, which we'll get to in a second. This is what I would say is probably the next best thing. It prevents those ears from flapping up at the side. However, you can be even more careful to avoid any possible tape pulls. And that is with ditching this altogether. The problem is this scotch tape, if it sits for a while, sometimes it can be hard to get off. And when you go to take a comic out, you risk the tape rubbing up against the comics. So to avoid that, I recommend ditching scotch tape completely and going with painter's tape, something that will peel off very easily. And what you're going to want to do, same thing, hold it down here, smooth out your sides, make sure there's no bubbles, and about an inch in, and you're going to angle it slightly diagonally, ever so slightly. You're just going to go down like that. Same thing on this side. And I, I made those a little bit long but this prevents it from causing the dog ears when you pull it out, but it also keeps all the sides down. But if you do need to take a comic out, let's say we want to take this out, look how much easier it is to take it out with painter's tape. And look how much easier they come off rather than scotch tape. Now you can take your comic out like a piece of cake. Let's talk about Mylar. Mylar is something that's actually becoming increasingly rare. Uh, supply and demand, I don't know. It's getting harder to, harder to own these. Halfbacks, fullbacks, it's just getting more difficult. But if you can, Mylars are the way to go, especially for more valuable comics. You're gonna put it in with the flap on the front so that you can fold it back. I'll circle back to that in just a moment. You slide your comic in, tap, tap. You're pretty much good to go, pull it over. And again, with Mylar, you really want to avoid scotch tape. The problem with scotch tape, and I'll show you on camera, I'm sure it'll happen. With scotch tape, if you put that there and press that flat, watch this. See that? Splits it right down the middle. That's going to happen if you use scotch tape. So you're gonna to wanna to use painter's tape, same thing. At the sides, a slight diagonal. Same thing over here, slight diagonal. Nice and easy. Comic looks great, no issues or anything, and you can easily take that painter's tape off. Now, how can you tell the difference between someone who doesn't submit comics to CGC and does? Anyone who doesn't submit to CGC or CBCS does it where it's front facing like this and the flap is in the back. Now, if you're a CGC submitter, you're not using tape at all. What you're gonna wanna do is take your comic and you're actually going to turn it around 
So the flap is actually in the back and it's open in the front. When you submit to CGC or any third party grading company, you're gonna wanna do this. Slide your book in like so, and don't use any tape. Now, what's different for when you submit, this flap will be almost as if it would be taped to the front, but you're not gonna use any tape. The reason being is you wanna make it really easy for any third party to not have to scrape away at any tape on the back. They can just easily slide your book out. Well, in Mylar, it's a little bit tougher. They can easily slide it out without having to derail any crappy tape job you did. Now, if you're gonna go ahead and ship a comic maybe out to a seller or a buyer, what you're gonna wanna do is take your slab, get it in some bubble wrap, and just do a quick hit right there. Now here's what I recommend. When you go to put it on here, I recommend doing the same thing. Right there, and right there, just as if you're bagging a comic book. If you're smart, you wanna recycle and reuse all the bubble wrap you keep getting. And when you give people the option of using the blue tape, it lets them keep this for many years to come. A lot of people will use shipping tape, which means you have to just completely rip off all the bubble wrap in order to get this open, and that's just a pain. So let's just take a couple extra steps here. Now for this, same thing. You can just do a tap there and a tap there. Alternatively, you could run it down Specifically, if you have the wider shipper's tape. Look how much easier I can reuse this now. Watch. I don't have to rip this. I don't have to do anything like that. And I can take this off nice and easy and reuse this packing tape. One other thing I wanted to show you guys, and that's you take your tape and you fold it in, you make a little triangle, and then you just make a little tab there. And all you do now is you do it there, do it again, make a little tab, put the sticky part down. Now it's incredibly easy for someone to just go, look how easy that is that you made for that person. Take these extra effort guys, it's gonna go a long way and people are gonna really appreciate it. Look how when I take this apart, look how easy it is for me to reuse this material. And here's my slab, okay? So basically guys, to recap, to avoid tape pulls, you're gonna wanna use the blue shipper's tape. It's definitely your best friend in this process. And then the only other thing that I would say is if you're submitting to CGC or any third party grader, just remember you're gonna have the flap as if it folds to the front, not to the back. And you're gonna use no tape at all. All right, this is a Mylar copy. And here's our regular copy. So one more time, I'm gonna show you guys how to store your comics. Let's take it out of here. And always work on a clean surface. This is not going to CGC, so I'm gonna store this regularly. All right, so I just slide it in. Tap, tap, turn it around. The flap folds to the back. Iron out your surfaces, make sure it's all good to go. Get a little bit of your tape and put a slight diagonal about an inch off, slight diagonal about an inch off. Do all of your comics like this and you're never gonna have tape pulls, you're never gonna have those awful dog ears and this is gonna last for a long time to come.